I'm Stephen Kesting, this is Rob Bernacki, and today North-South Escapes. North-South is a wretched position to be caught in, mm -hmm. especially if you've got some guys really good at it. And I find that the guys who are best at it really are often judo guys. They just yeah. want to get to a pinning position. They're usually good at super great, I mean, all judo guys, I'm generalizing, yeah. Kezugatami and North-South, or some variation of North-South, and just hold on for dear life for the you know, 20 seconds they need to win their matches. Yeah. So it makes a terrible escaping situation. But what are your thoughts about, what are your favorite methods, if I do get you in North-South, about escaping? Yeah, uh, I mean, again, as with any number of things, I've taken some uh, uh, approach from Marcelo Garcia, which is the idea of putting yourself into side control, which is you're, you're pretty used to escaping side control. Mm -hmm. right? So I pretty much just try to force my way back into side control and then just try to escape the side control. So how do you do that? I mean, I guess we should distinguish the three kinds of uh, north south. Yeah. One is both hands here, one is one hand here under the arm, one hand over the arm, mm -hmm. and, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is over, this is under, and then both hands under. Yeah, exactly. So let's start with double over. Yeah. So we're so, here. Okay, turn it so you can face the... Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I'm going to basically frame one hip and start to try to rotate myself towards that one. Depending on how much of a grip you have, like on my belt and how closed your elbows are. Yeah, oh, exactly. Jeez. Um, I may have to use this, like, rocking motion. And I basically will start to put myself in side control with the intent of bringing my knee in and, like, regarding... Sure. Kind of the typical way. So you're just uh, blocking two hands at the hip? Yeah, yeah. I'm framing, uh, reinforcing the frame. Uh, it was one of the few times I advise blocking the hip. I tend to stay away from that. I don't think it's a particularly sound approach. I think blocking the cross face is quite a bit better. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if you've gotten around all of that, you've moved to north south, I no longer have that option. I like doing something similar with a double knee grip. Do you. Uh, Show me. If I'm here, getting both hands on the knees, mm -hmm. then essentially scooting Framing, down yeah. while military pressing, and now swinging, but you swing more like a windshield wiper? Yeah. So I swing more like a, along the ground, this kind of thing. And again, I'm hoping to get either a side mount, or if you screw up, yeah, to, to catch to, me in the half guard, yeah. To, yeah. Um, I mean, it, I think it's just a different style. Is there a reason that you're doing the windshield wiper as opposed to the swinging along the ground? Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to get onto the side of my hip. Okay. All right. Um, I, I think that, like, the, it, I think it alleviates the pinning pressure mm -hmm. a little bit more. Um, I also think that I, I tend to do all of my stuff based on the idea of young gi and no gi. Right. And I think that sure. without the uh, the luxury of, of grabbing the pants, <laughs> it it, it's it, it's it's quite a bit harder to yeah. So um, so that's my reasoning behind it. It's just creating this uh, this this angle where I can get onto my side and start to force that like hip escape to knee in to defend the to regard sir. Okay, well let's take us through the magic four-step recipe for escaping any north south. <laughs> First do this, then do that, then do yeah. that. So well, I mean, I, I think it behooves us to mention that, like, really, the way to escape north south is to maintain proper frames as someone moves into it, so that you don't have to do a late stage escape. Okay. Where you can just keep them on your hands or your forearms, and then invert and put your knees in. I, 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 okay, I, so let's do that. First. Yeah. So. so I mean, the we're idea here, of, if we're here, I'm passing. yeah, and I'm just able to either put my knees or feet in, depending on how much range I've got with my arms. So, well, that's so I, prior to me having sucked my weight down onto your chest. Yeah, absolutely, which is why, like, as I mentioned, I don't favor blocking the hip. Like, let's say you've passed my guard, and I'm like, yeah, here we go. Like, exactly, this gives you the immediate, like, you're, you're blocking the hip. Yeah, so I'm blocking yeah. the hip. Meanwhile, you're either cross-facing me, eh, twisting me up that way, or you're coming across, and now, yeah! And then if you want to move to north-south, the fact that I'm blocking your hip doesn't really do much, yeah. I sprawl back. Now right. You're worried about now this. all this stuff is a concern. Whereas if we rewind for a second, if I'm actually blocking cross face, mm. it takes away all of your ability to solidify like the posture break, all the stuff that's gonna make yeah. all the alignment breaks that are gonna make side control work. And if you do start now moving to north south, that'd be stupid of me. But yeah, exactly, because that way I can start doing that. So I think that's okay. really the solution is. Make sure that you, you have proper framing. And if I do happen to lose it, like let's say you beat me to here. Yeah, so now 
I'm no longer blocking the cross face, but I am now blocking the north-south. Right. So I'm still preventing, basically a cross face block is just a way of preventing somebody's torso from pinning my torso. But to quote Mario Sperry yet again, <laughs> I wake up, or you wake up, and yeah. you find yourself on the bottom of my fully applied north-south. Yeah. Like, I completely agree with all the preventative just, yeah. stuff, and way easier to... Sorry for the tangent. No, 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 I just, no, it's, yeah. really, it's actually more important than what we're doing here. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, we're here. Yeah. All right, one hand over, one hand under, I'm here, yeah. and I'm holding on for dear life. Exactly. Uh, I mean, anytime you've got the, the arm over my shoulder, I think that this has quite a bit of validity. The old uh, Cosby frame, as we call it at my academy, to create a bit of space to either you know, work into your underhook, basically work your way, like you can see, I've worked myself into side control. Mm. Except now I work my way into side control with an underhook. So, so by pushing my head away, you're also stopping the north-south choke. North-south choke, exactly. So we're here, yeah. you're pushing me away. I'm pushing you away, and then I'm moving myself into, so in this case, I failed at the underhook. But you're on your side. But I'm on my side, which already puts me in a more favorable alignment. It allows me to prevent you from controlling my hip movement. It allows me to prevent you from pinning my torso fully. Okay. So like the more flat I am, the more restricted my hip movement is, the more effective your pin is. The more on my side I am, the greater my hip movement, the, the greater the odds that I frame and invert and regard that I get my knee or in. The, legs here. Or I capture you in the half guard or I get my other. Like all the escapes to some degree require that hip mobility that's created by me getting onto my side. Let's just quickly look at the double unders. Yeah. Which mostly G. I would say so. And yeah. mostly, if the guy's going double unders, it's for like sure he's going to... me up. Yeah, exactly. Going for the back. Yeah. So, so in that, you wake up one morning. <laughs> somebody's underneath my... I, I went to sleep with my gi on, which yeah. I rarely do. Uh, so, you know, this is where that, you know, we'll, we'll call it a double Cosby frame, will allow me to now bring my knees inside and start okay. inverting and resetting my guard. Because I don't have a grip in front of my head, it's harder to stop. To stop, yeah. I'm pushing my head And up. then if you're in the double, old, or double hands in the armpit, or elbows in the armpit, uh, so this one, yeah. Uh, so now, like, the option of pushing your head away is gone, right? So this is where I think using this rocking motion is where, like, it would come into play the most because I have no other method of alleviating the pinning pressure on my torso. So I'll be attempting to rock to the side that way. Again, creating a frame on your hip and then working whatever I'm able to. I, honestly, I think situ escaping this is to a certain degree situational. It's how much can you create and how does your opponent react with the, like, the conceptual basis of get their torso off of you enough yeah. that you can rock onto your get side. Get on your side, push me up, just to make some separation here or at least... Or at least here. Yeah. And then, and now again, like I said, we've put ourselves into side control. You're not out yet. But I'm at least in a position that I've probably escaped far more yeah. in my training than north south against a spectacular judoka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. Awesome. Well, I hope that it gives people some food for thought for escaping that really difficult position because you're going to suffer against somebody who's good at that. Yeah. It's going to take. I mean, I've spent one, two. Three, Three minutes, minutes escaping yeah. against a judoka who was smaller than me, but this was pretty much what he knew. Well, and that's kind of what I was, I think we were talking about earlier, is that I think this is a, it's an impossible position to escape under the judo circumstances where you've got 15 or 20 seconds. Like a good judoka gets you there, you are not getting out. Right. In the jiu-jitsu context, give it enough time, you're going to get out. You just, like you said, you're going to suffer. So you get out, and you try to go choke him, or you take his back and choke him, <laughs> and you walk away from that match. You both think that you've won. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had him pinned for 30 seconds. I won the match. Well, I won the match. Yeah.